All right, hey ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy James, and here we are going over how I do everything. Again, this style has been really popular. Uh, it's called overlay style for those who don't know. Again, I'm just basically showing you kind of the basics. You do need pro for this as well. If you don't have pro, um, I would suggest you get it or think about getting it. Most of what I'm using is pro features, a couple effects I'm using on pro. All right, let's get into it. So basically, I'm going to just play it through real quick. Silly Caucasian girl likes to play with samurai swords. Right, so uh, basically I start off, like I listen to the music first before I do anything, so like. And I don't mark anything, you know, kind of feel it and know where it's at. This is part of this clip right here. Basically what I did was um, I moved it over to the left and then I put it up here. Now again, this is an overlay. So overlay means these are layers, right? These are layers. You see how it stacks up, right? That means you're gonna see this if it didn't have any background the animations that i use for this for when a no background comes in i use swoosh and i put that point three seconds right so now let's cut that back off nice now there she is what you want to do again for the pro feature you want to use the uh smart brush and the smart eraser okay click custom removal you click smart brush you can adjust the size it could be as big or as small as you want and then you trace from the head down right so let me do it for you. So let's just say I'm starting over, right? Let's just say, oh, this is a cool shot. I like this. Let's try it, right? So you click again, you click on the smart brush, trace from the head down, let go, boom. And then, you know, if you want to get the sword too, you can, boom. And then, you know, just trace any other parts that you may miss. Then you can go in and clean up. So you could take the eraser here and kind of clean up a little bit. Sometimes uh, it doesn't really do too much or do a good job. So you have to redo it, but it should look like that, you know, and then when you're done, you hit apply, right? So when you hit apply, boom, there it is. Okay. So then again, you hit swoosh, swoosh would be about 0.3. You could do 0.2 if you want as well. So 0.3, 0.2%. Cool. Right. Great. Right. So then again, this is the main track, right? So the main track is the bottom is the main track. So now what did I do? Right. You see this. What did I do here? OK, so what I did here was again, these are just overlays. OK, so let's check out the animation. All right. And now you see this is called a mask. So instead of removing the background here, I did a mask. So the mask is kind of like cropping out a clip, right? You see that there's different parts of the clip, right? So that's what the mask is. What I did was I copied this and I pasted it. And then I moved it over because I wanted it to come in all the time, right? Right, do do, right. So then again, animation for this is a uh, flash in, it's flash in, and then I have it at point three. I can have it at point two. Doesn't really matter, but point three is good. So again, to make sure that it's on beat, you just have to play through it. So, right, right, do do, right. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? So again, like for the beat, I really, I, I literally just hear it and I feel it. Right. So like, bum, 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 right. One, two, three. And you can even count too. like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, you know, the, to kind of like see what you want to do. Because again, all this is a beat, right? One beat two and beat three is when it comes back. Right now let's let's go to here okay so here this is the main track and i copied it again because that way i'm able to have the animation come in and then i will have uh, the fast clips in the background so what's this right what's all this right what's all that is that you know i've had so many people ask me that so what that was so let's just say i have a full clip let's just say this is a clip from youtube you know three minutes however long it is right just a three minute clip or four minute clip however long it is you hit speed turn it all the way up let it go right and that's your that's your that's how you get it fast and again i copy and paste this i took off the animation on this one and then i also removed the background all right and it's the same thing tracing 
and then again the sword sometimes it's okay again you have to adjust the size or just you know keep trying or you can um just brush it out with the regular brush and the regular eraser so my brush really does a great job and then again hit apply so this is what we would have so far and then it's just a series of that right because now before she comes in did you see before what happened before she comes in before she comes in again this is a continuation this clip right here is a continuation of this clip right here that's why i have it on the main track that way when we bring this in she comes in boom the background comes back in right so it's the same thing it's the same kind of like process right of no background background no background background and it's like building on top of each other basically okay so that's what you want to do and again this is the same animation swoosh right right and then this you know this this part of the sword comes in right this is the whole clip you highlight the sword hit apply boom and then again what's the animation swoosh right right and do you see the pattern now but you know for you know for this is uh you know no background background no background background no background background right that's this whole section okay right play with samurai swords so now this is where it gets a little bit tricky okay so we're gonna uh, close this out very quick okay so now we have we basically have what we did over here right just two masks again one is one half of the screen one is the other half so this is one half and then you copy and paste this and then you bring it over here and then boom and now what i did was i copied and paste this right here kind of like how i would do with the main track i copied the base of this put that up here so now let's look let's analyze this real quick okay so i'm going to take off the animation real quick okay so now what did i do what just happened here right a, a little 3d effect i guess you could say right so again just like how we would do for this i did the same thing right you uh go through highlight and hit apply good and boom and the animation i had for that was unfold you don't really need and you don't really need an animation for it but it looks nice when the background comes back in i do unfold so again let's let's go over this again so again Swords. right so the two pieces come back together i use the animation unfold and then um uh, but when sometimes i like don't use the animation so like this part you know you see the animation and then you know there's no animation when the background comes back in sometimes you know that's cool you don't have to use the animation every time you know what i'm saying so but yeah right so now we're on this part which is basically the same thing we're gonna ignore all that this uh right but this is basically the same thing i'm just adding three three things in front and then i have her walking so I basically copied and pasted this, moved it up here, made sure it started and ended at the same point. And then I took the background out on the very top one, because again, whatever is on top is what you're going to see it was in front, right? So you want to make sure whatever you're cutting out is on top. Okay. And then hit apply. That's what it would look like, right? We see this whole thing before. So I basically did the same thing. I just add like little fast clips and, you know, but you don't really have to do all that so now i'm gonna do this oh what happened here right what happened here so basically what i did was again copy the paste from the main track like this right i copied the paste from the main track and then i took out the background here as you can see did a pretty decent job hit apply and then what else happened right you see these clips coming in so these are normally full screen. So literally you would just scale it down. So like, um, again, normally they would be like, you know, full screen. So you would scale it down and then move it over, right? You would move it over 
I also masked it. So I use film strip right here. And then I adjusted the size to adjust the size. You just, you could do this or, you know, you can use, uh, the number system right here. Doesn't really matter. And then you can also feather it. So feathering is basically taking out the little borders of a clip. So that's basically what happened. And then again, I used animation. I use flash in for 0.3 seconds. So now, right. And then again, to make sure that they come in on time, you have to keep playing around with it. So, right, that's, that seems pretty decent. Dun, dun, dun. One, two, three. One, two, three. What's all this up here, right? This up here is the prelude to this clip right here, right? It's everything that happens right before this clip comes in. That's why you see it all the way up here. And what I did was uh, I took out the background, right? And, you know, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it does it pretty decently. The AI knows what it's supposed to do. So normally it would look like this, right? And, and on a good day, it would look like this. And that's great. We want it to look like that. Okay. So yes. Right. And then again, you just hit apply. Boom. Right. And then also you would hit, um, you can use unfold or spruce. Doesn't really matter. And they get 0 0.3, 0 0.2 seconds, doesn't really matter. So now, again, this is the same thing. Um, I copied and pasted this, put it up here. Uh, you have the sword here. Uh, again, trace down. Got the hands with the sword. And then I hit apply. So that way it's in front. And then again, mask, mask. Do you see the pattern here? You should be able to see the pattern. Um, it's, it's literally like the same thing over and over again once you get it down. But it's good though. Like it's not boring to do. I find this style really fun. Silly Caucasian girl likes to play with samurai swords. So, and again, this is the same thing. Right, you see it's the same thing. I just bring the guy out with the sword. So copy and paste this, put it up here. Again, take out the background, hit apply and then boom and again for the masks go for that you hit film strip put it at 90 degree angle um i believe like 379 350 is good 400 is even good if you want that size and you put it over here copy and paste this and then um you will have to drag it and put it over here that way it will be like that silly cock and then that very last part, real quick. So that very last part, again, do you see the fast clips, right? The fast clips in the background. So you kind of want to sandwich them like this. And again, it's just the main track. You see all the main tracks are the same. All the main tracks are the same. You copy and paste this, put it up here. And then uh, again, you just take out the background. Sometimes you gotta, you know, sometimes you gotta go through make sure it's good to go for the most part it will look good some parts like the hand you'll miss the hand or you know it still looks good he said plus it happens fast anyway so you know and that i did basically did that same thing for all these clips right and then to end it off what i did was i copied the piece the beginning of the clip so remember how the beginning starts here silly caucasian and I moved it over to the end. So like how I basically moved it over to the end. So this would be like where she speaks silly Caucasian girl. So then I moved it over like this and I cut it out and then I moved it over here. That way it's a loop. Silly Caucasian. So then it's a clean, nice clean loop. So you want everything to end on this point. You don't want anything past it, even with your watermark. You don't want your watermark to go past because if it goes past, then, uh, you know, there's a black screen. We don't want a black screen. Silly Caucasian girl likes to play with samurai swords. So I hope that breakdown helped you out. Thank you for being here and uh, I'll see y'all later. Appreciate it.